Network. Here covering the premiere of season one of Preacher on AMC. Probably my all-time favorite comic book, and I cannot wait to see what happens here with the full cast and crew. This is gonna be an amazing day and an amazing set of interviews. We're gonna talk to Dominic Cooper. We're gonna talk to, to Seth Rogen. I can't wait to ask him about magic cards, because I play, and, and he has his face on a magic card. We're gonna do that, so stick around. We'll get some awesome interviews, and we'll see you guys in just a second. Ben Bateman here from AfterBuzz TV, talking to the creators of Preacher, the masterminds themselves, Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. How are you guys? Hey, how's it going? Jet lagged. This, my friends, is an honor for me. I think I read Preacher when I was 12 for the first time. I worked in a comic book store. I bought all the volumes secondhand. I didn't know what it was. Uh, and it's become probably my all-time favorite comic book. So uh, not only have I read Preacher, but I mean, I'm, I'm fans of a lot of your work. I've read Punisher, the war story stuff you did for Vertigo years ago. That's some of my favorites. Uh, so tell me when you found out they were going to be adapting this and they were going to be making it into a show, was there a party that was like, well, we want to cover the whole story, but we might just get one season. So what do we want to show in one season? Uh, well, I was uh, I was pretty happy with their 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 choice to kind of expand the beginning of the story. The uh, the comic, as you know, hits the ground up, uh, running at about two hundred miles an hour and does nothing but accelerate. I like the way that, and this speaks to really the difference in pacing between a comic book and a TV show. I like the way they've expanded it. I like the way they've given you a lot more, uh, a lot more insight into the little town that Jesse's the preacher of. Um, it seems to ground it more firmly. I think uh, comic book, you know, we can just we can just go crazy. Right, right. TV show, it's a different beast, uh, and I think they made just the right choices. Uh, now, did you guys hear the news today? The passing of Darwin Cook. Yeah, uh, I was very sorry to hear about that. Rotten piece of luck. Uh, very, very sad. Did, uh, did you have any relationship to Darwin? Uh, I did not, unfortunately. I, I admired his artwork very much, but I don't believe we ever actually met. Yeah, that's the first I've heard of that. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. That's this morning of cancer. Uh, in 1998, I believe it was the year that you won the Eisner. For uh, and it was when you were writing Preacher. It was when you guys were actually publishing it right. originally. So, do you feel both of you? This is your proudest piece of work. Um, it's it's definitely in my top five, maybe even top three. Uh, it's probably the first thing I've written uh, in my career that that I'm still proud of. Things I wrote before it. Well, there's a bit here, a bit there. I'm okay with them. I'm a little uncertain. But Preacher's the first thing I wrote that I'm pretty much proud of from the beginning. Steve, how about you? Uh, I think it's probably the top for me so far. I'd not say so far. I'm not dead yet. So, but so far, yeah. Looking back to the sort of the whole entire 80s era, you're talking the Alan Moore Swamp Thing stuff, and just sort of like that weird British subculture, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Is there a party that feels a bit of nostalgia when you go back and you read that stuff? It's, it's a kind of a time and a place? Um, yeah, I, you're, you're talking about some of my favorite comics of all time. It was, after all, Alan who really established that notion of, in Swamp Thing, of going beyond the corporeal world, being able to step into the the world beyond heaven, hell, uh, to, to visit those realms and leave them at will. And with Preacher, I think we owe him something of a debt for that. Uh, so yes, I mean, uh, Alan's work is very much buried in Preacher's DNA. Now, probably Until the End of the World is my favorite bit in the story. But the two stories, the flashback John Custer story, so Texas and the Spaceman, I think the other one is right. like issue 50 maybe or something That's like that. Right, yeah. uh, are we going to see any of that in the show? Do you know, are we going to get to see those flashbacks with Texas and Space? Uh, I don't know. I think the problem there is that because we've moved on 20 years, Jesse's dad might not, be, not, might not have been old enough to have served in Vietnam is the problem there because after all if you if you served there you were probably born in 1945 1950 to be in vietnam in the late 60s early 70s that might not work out in the the chronology of the show um yeah we're maybe 20 years too late <laughs> yeah uh, last question for you there's one scene in particular that pops into my mind, and it's it's in that same until the end of the world storyline when we John Wayne looks at Jesse as he's got the collar on, and he uses a slur. He uses a slur that we wouldn't say in today's world, but it's a very John Wayne thing because of John Wayne where he came from in his time, and it's a sensitive subject. Is that the sort of thing we're going to see in the show? Uh, You're going to have to remind me. It's a homophobic slur. That, that, oh right. 
Is yeah. that when he's trying to sort of buck him up and yeah. get him moving? And he talks about the day that he saw him in the collar finally. I. I do not know if you're going to see that in the show. I do not know. I'm not even sure if you're going to see that John Wayne figure because there could be some fairly obvious copyright yeah, problems right, there. Right. So I do not know. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. I'm a huge fan. Right, sure. I, I can't wait. That's my favorite one as well, the Antenna. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? It's amazing. It makes it makes like every time. When they meet in the bus station, she spits and he starts crying. Kills me every time. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you.